North is a predominant factor in this home's design, where all the bedrooms are north facing, the living spaces are north facing with an open plan environment to the views. The house has um, designed according to the consideration towards the summer solstice and the winter solstice, where we'd look at how we keep the home warm in winter and cool in the summer. So there are overhangs on the home so that when the sun is at a higher angle you are keeping the home nice and cool but you need that warmth in the winter so with the amount of glass and so facades to give lots of light into the space and ventilation you need the sun to be able to penetrate it when the, the doors are closed and you're not in an outdoor indoor environment. The house is designed with that kind of factor as a main focal point where you could sit inside but feel that you are outside or sit outside and feel that you're inside. So you have this transition between inside and outside that flows harmoniously with the landscape elements visual from any space because of the amount of glass in the home. The house has um, good thermal values so in winter this home is constantly warm and not really a, a very uh, and comfortable that you have to put heaters on or a fireplace or so forth and if you do it's only for a short space of time. In the course of the summer you can open up the home and have the ventilation so you've got fresh air permeating through this home at all times. Welcome, property cravers, to what might be the house of your dreams. This is luxury at its finest. My name is Olobuhe, and I'm your host today. Stay tuned as I talk with you, the house of your wildest dreams. Now, let's explore. From the street level, you have this driveway taking us to a three-car parking garage. And on my left-hand side on this, you have a, such a beautiful garden just to welcome you as you enter the house. And this driveway also on the right-hand side, it is taking us to the entrance of the house. Before we continue and we go any further with this tour, I would love to mention that this house is a three-bedroom house, each with an ensuite bathroom. And it has been built by Kevin Els from Kevin Els Architecture. Now let's begin and we want to thank him for giving us this opportunity to tour his amazing project. Now as we continue on this driveway, like I said before, you have a three-car parking garage where this driveway leads you and on my right you have an entrance hallway that is taking you to the entrance door to the house. Now as you approach the hallway taking you to the entrance door you have such a beautiful structure here just to give you a warm welcome to the house. A wall of glass in front here on your entrance double volume spaces and also that I've, I forgot to mention as well just in front of the house you have a double volume glass outside revealing your staircases we will see that later as we walk inside the house. As I enter into the house, you have an entrance area here with the aluminum glass pivot door and immediately you have a staircase taking us to the upper floor where you have all your three bedrooms. And there is a glass of wall, a wall of glass from the floor to the ceiling that reveals your chandelier or your gorgeous chandelier during the night. And you will see the big rows of, of the chandelier at night. Under this floating staircase, you have a revealed section of that glass wall that starts from your floor to your ceiling with a double volume space, giving us more natural light into the house. And yet, there's yet another a linear glass window giving us a view to the outside section and giving us more natural light. Now, immediately after your entrance section, you have a formal living room here or a great room that has beautiful couches here to relax with friends and family right next to your swimming pool, giving you an indoor, outdoor feeling right next to your swimming pool. We have open glass or folding doors right from this corner to the other corner. You will see that as we continue touring this home. Right next to your living space, we have a wall here that divides your living space and your dining room. And this wall has a gas um, 
fireplace here to keep you and your friends and loved ones warm during those cold days of the year. Now, as we go across over this wall, leading us to a formal dining room, we have a bulkhead design ceiling above your dining table here with such an interesting design. You have a LED lights with different colors that can change to whatever mood that you want to at any given time. Or those days when you are entertaining your friends, you can make this space at evening very interesting with the colors changing from one to the other. Now there's a hallway taking us to a powder room from the dining room. As I continue on this hallway, we are now approaching the powder room. Of course, as I've said, wall of glass giving you a view to your outside section. And inside here, you have a powder room with a water closet. It's a floating water closet, a floating vanity set up with gorgeous sink and a mirror to take a look at yourself when you are done helping yourself in the bathroom. As I walk back into our dining room section, I am now going to the patio section that is right next to your living space or your dining room. In this patio section, immediately from this side, you have an indoor-outdoor feeling, and then we are being led to this open section where you get to entertain your loved ones and friends. You have a swimming pool, a beautiful view to your garden. Remember this yard or this house has been built on a 2,200 square meters of land. So you have plenty of space. If you have children, they can play as much as they want. If you have a party, your friends and family you can chill outside. And yet you also have an interesting corner or a garden section where you can have a nice peace of mind and tranquility. I'll show you later that corner. And this section continues right after your swimming pool. You have another yet beautiful patio section where you can relax with loved ones and family. Now, this section is leading us back into the house where you have your TV section or your living space with your uh, TV on your right. And is, it is seamlessly connecting us to your kitchen. Now, this kitchen is really interesting. Just when you enter this kitchen, you have a, an island here with two sections integrated to each other with a natural stone corner here. And this section of the island also has a waterfall edge, but beautiful white stone, gray cabinetries on this section of the island. And you still continue with the same color tone of your gray and white in this kitchen. And this house you will realize from the start since we started touring up until where I am now, this whole house, it has been painted white. Every wall, it is white. So there is the color palette or the way they decorated it, main theme, it's a white color, which makes this house bright and beautiful. Now, there is a hallway here leading us, or the door, this door is taking us to a scullery section. And then after the scullery, you have been led to your three car parking garage. Now we are done on this section of the house. We are now going to go to the upper floor to get to tour the three bedrooms and look at, take a look at those ensuite bathroom. Now let us head to the upper floor. As I walk towards the upper floor, before I get there, I, get there, I forgot to mention something. There is a pocket indoor that divides our dining room and our second living space here and it is nicely pocketed in inside this wall. Now, as I continue, another thing that I forgot to mention is these screens that are hanging in front of these glass windows. They are here to create a private or give you privacy inside your house because you can see this is immediately on your entrance. So it gives you privacy for you and your family. Now, let's continue to go to the second floor and to the upper floor. get in onto this second landing we are now about to tour all the 
three bedrooms on this landing but before i get to that there's a beautiful chandelier on this double volume space or your entrance it is so gorgeous it starts from your ceiling flows down beautifully giving you a beautiful entrance and some character onto the space now this walkway actually it's a floating walkway taking us to the first bedroom and right behind me actually there is a linear glass window giving us more natural light and it's facing the street level and because of that you have rolling blinds to give you some privacy if you need to now this first door is leading me into the first bedroom of this floor on inside this bedroom immediately you have on my right your bedroom section and a bulkhead design in your ceiling pure white colors and you know something about white when your room is white it is easy to decorate look at how your bed section the colors the side lamps they they pop out because of the brightness in the room you have a sliding door leading us to a patio section here as you open this sliding door I will just open only this section. It is leading us outside this patio section or this balcony and it is throughout this floor going to the main bedroom as well. So when you are here, you have a beautiful view of the house, the garden, oh, peace of mind, tranquility, beautiful view to your swimming pool, to the other side of your house. Oh, it is so lovely. And as I walk back into this, bedroom on my right immediately after entering i have a powder room oh not a powder room a bathroom this bathroom has a floating vanity set up your shower and your water closet as i walk back into this bedroom closing this bathroom door i could walk outside this patio section and enter the other bedroom but let me instead walk back into the main hallway or your floating second landing towards the other bedroom. Walking back into this main second landing, now one other thing I have just noticed now, it's a strip of linear glass window right on your entrance. There's a strip that starts from your ceiling right down. I did not notice that and I think that is unique. Okay, this second door, it's a bathroom door leading us into this bathroom where you immediately have a shower, a water closet, and yet, of course, a floating vanity setup. Now you have a pocketed sliding door that divides your bathroom and this bedroom. As I walk inside this bedroom, it's actually now currently being set or set up as a music room. You can see the current owner of this house loves mu music so much. They have their musical instruments here. Actually, this is a cello. I wish I could also play or learn how to play this one day. You have your wardrobe sections or your closet for your, for your clothes, yet another glass floor folding doors leading you to your same patio section that connects with the other one to the other room. And you can actually open this entire folding door to have more fresh air coming inside and actually more natural light coming inside this bedroom. Yet also in this bedroom we have bulkhead design, down lights, making this room yet simple yet beautiful. Immediately on this section, we have yet another glass window here, giving us more natural light from the entrance section. Now as I walk on this hallway, this door is leading me to the main bedroom of this house. And on my left, we are being led to your pajama lounge. Now, before we get to the main bedroom, I would love to start with the pajama lounge. In this pajama lounge, immediately you will see you have a glass corner here, giving you a beautiful view to your entrance or to your driveway as well. And you have such a beautiful pajama lounge here with a TV section on my left, beautiful bulk head design on or the ceiling here. And there's yet another glass folding door leading us to another separate patio section here as i walk outside to this patio section to explore it we have a 
peace of mind in this section where you get to get the beautiful view of this house. There's a patio section here and they have put here a sort of an artificial grass. You can actually make this section your golf section for all the golf lovers. If you love golf, you can actually make this section and play your golf here. And you have a balcony, you have an immediate beautiful view here with your beautiful grass giving you a, a bit of forestry and peace of mind and tranquility. Now we are done on this section with the pyjama lounge. I'm going to walk back into the house and go to the main bedroom of the house. Let's get back into the house. As I walk back into this landing from the pyjama lounge, I'm now going to the main bedroom of the house. As I walk inside this main bedroom, what I forgot to mention about all these other bedrooms, there is a carpet on, in all of these bedrooms. This is a main bedroom. Space is galore. Bed section right in front of me. Perfectly matches with the theme of the house. Bulkhead design ceiling. Beautiful gray tone color to complement the main theme of the house. And there's two doors on this corner. One, it's leading us to the bathroom and one, it's a walk-in closet. Now, as I walk cross over this wall that is dividing our bathroom and our main bedroom, we have a bathroom here that is really interesting. Has a plenty of sufficient lighting coming inside with your glass windows on my left. Currently now, the sun is about to set. We can see how much ton of light is coming inside. Floating vanity set up right in front of me. You have your his and hers basins for the couple in the house and you have a walk-in closet, a walk-in shower. As I walk back, you also have a really interesting, of course, this is a main bedroom. How can you not have a floating bathtub? And it is really interesting. Right next to your patio section and you can open your folding door right next to your bathtub. You can relax and take your bath with your door open. A ton of fresh light coming inside. A gazillion light coming inside. Oh, this is perfect. Yet another door leading us back into the main bedroom. A sliding door also that is also being pocketed inside your hall to make this seamless. Now as I walk back into the main bedroom, what you can also notice immediately, you have an indoor-outdoor section that gives you peace of mind and tranquility in this main bedroom. You have your balcony here, right next to your sliding door or your folding doors. And remember, your patio section starts from this side right to the other side of the house. Now we are done touring this beautiful mansion in Roydi Port, built by or that it has been designed by Kevin Els from Kevin Els Architects. Now we are done with this beautiful mansion. See you on the next tour.